All right, we're here at SEMA with our buddy Blaine in the Holly booth. Blaine's a 240 guy, LS swap dude, drifter. He's one of us. Anyway, uh, he's going to tell us what's uh, new at, with Holly this year. Hey, Mike, how you doing, man? Good? Pretty, pretty good. So this year, we've kind of released some new products with our Flowtech exhaust line. Okay. That's uh, an exhaust line that's kind of budget oriented. Um, so if you're out there, and you're looking to do an LS turbo swap, um, we've got Flowtech LS turbo headers for you now. So these can be mounted up and forward, down and forward, uh, multiple configurations for you depending on how you install them. And uh, they're available in different coatings, uh, but they're all stainless steel. Um, they're all available in 409 stainless steel, or if they're in the polished format, they're 304 stainless steel. So very, very budget oriented way to get an exhaust routing set up for your turbo LS on whatever you're doing it on, whether it's a actual domestic vehicle or whether you're swapping it into an import chassis. That's awesome. What else do you got to show us? Well, let's move on down through here. We've got uh, a lot of new LS swap stuff. Um, obviously, we cover a lot of domestic chassis. We've got the S13, S14 as well. But uh, a popular one we've been seeing at LS Fest recently has been LS engines in Fox body Mustangs. So super lightweight car, perfect for drag racing. A lot of these guys are putting these LS engines in them. So we're working on an LS Fox body swap kit as well. Moving on down through here, though, um, we've got Hooker Blackheart exhaust. Now that is a um, an updated product line for for all of our Hooker products for late model and uh, and swapped vehicles. So we want to focus on the fact that it's just using premium quality materials, um, fantastic craftsmanship. These are all welded and welded and made in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and um, and then it also has to make power and sound good. So those are our four criteria that we go off of when we select a new car to make an exhaust system for. So currently, we've got uh, all the chassis that you see here before you here on this board, and uh, we're working on more. But uh, we just released 6th Gen Camaro, and we also just came out with uh, C7, um, and their various models that they have with that particular chassis. Well, I see they're all like uh, short tube headers, so you keep the cats and they're pretty close to the factory spot. That's all important with these new cars, with all the uh, really smart computers and uh, they, get, they really freak out. Yes, they can, they can. So we've got shorties uh, if you want to keep your cats. We've also got stuff for more uh, people that are focused on racing their cars. So we've got long tubes, mid links, things of that nature. And we also make the adapter pipes for them to bolt up totally, totally fine. For all these uh, shorties here, we're car BO pending. That should be releasing any day now. Um, and that's the same for any of the, the new C7 Corvette stuff as well. It's really awesome that it's carb approved, especially for us in California where even barbecue is illegal and mowing your lawn. Okay, so what do we got here? Well, what we're looking at here, Mike, is our 6.2 liter LT development engine. We've been working on developing a number of new products for LT series engines. You're looking here at one of the C7 Shorty uh, manifolds that we're selling through our Hooker Blackheart line. And um, just really, really fantastic craftsmanship. You can see there in the welding, the materials used, 304 stainless steel. Um, they tuck they tuck into that chassis very nicely, and um, they make power, too. That's the important thing, right? Uh, is that why you have this unusual collector light layout that's all in line like yep. that? Yep, a absolutely. We're looking for power, and we're also looking for, for fantastic fitment and good installation attributes as well. Um, on the front of this engine here, what we've got um, a lot of guys are going to be swapping these LT engines into cars once the LS engine starts to go the way of the small block Chevy. Obviously that's not anywhere close to happening now, but um, we've got LS swap accessory drives bolted onto the front of an LT with these adapter plates here. Now these are rapid prototype pieces um, that we made here just to get them here for SEMA. We had them at LS Fest as well, so they're not on the market yet, but they are coming soon. Uh, so we'll have full LS accessory drives or LT accessory drives coming very soon for the LT uh, platform. So uh, this is the uh, turbo manifolds and stuff, right? Yeah, on this side of the engine, you'll see our hooker cast iron uh, turbo manifolds that we're gonna be releasing here shortly. That is also a prototype piece right now. That's what you see there in white, um, but that will be uh, a perfect complement to our hooker cast iron exhaust manifolds that we sell currently uh, in order to route a turbo engine, or excuse me, in order to route a turbo on your LS engine. So um, we've also got this sniper Ray series intake manifold. It's a much more budget oriented, uh, cost effective solution for somebody than like maybe your Hogan's sheet metal fabricated intake manifolds in, 
things like that. They're welded inside and out um, for structural rigidity, and um, and they make power. So that's that's important as well. We also have what uh, we're calling our low mount accessory drive for an LS engine. It tucks the alternator up close. Um, so that's going to help a lot of guys who are, who are mounting LS engines into chassis with tight confines. Um, we've also got uh, Earl's Ultra Pro Series hose running down here to this Earl's black oil cooler as well. Um, and uh, we've got Excel spark plug wires and we're also going to be releasing our uh, Excel coils in black. I always felt these uh, sniper manifolds are a product that are a long time coming in the market. Like you had your super low profile manifolds, then you had the um, the high rise ones that made really good power, but you had to cut a hole in the hood, especially a lot of, with a lot of these swap cars. And uh, this looks like a pretty serious manifold that's a pretty low profile. Yes, um, through our sniper intake manifold lineup, we've got these new sniper race manifolds like you saw over there bolted onto the LS engine. This one here I've taken the top off of so you can see inside here. Um, as I mentioned before, it's welded on the inside and out for structural integrity, and uh, so you're not going to have any problems putting um, an adequate amount of boost through this uh, through this intake manifold whatsoever. Okay, Blaine, what do we got here? Well, one thing we forgot to show you here on this LS engine was our Dragon Claw clutch system. We've got one here installed on the back of this 5.3 LS engine, and we've got one over here that we can film in a minute that's expanded. It's got all the clutch blown apart, including the flywheel, to show you all the internals about how it works so when you're out there you're taking your car to the track all the time there's there's compromises we all know that you've got a street car you track day it chances are after a while you're gonna have to put another clutch in a little sooner than you intended well this dragon claw clutch here we're marketing as all the performance of a race clutch with street drivability so if you've got a car that's making a ton of horsepower and you need a lot of clamping force, like if you've got forced induction and the torque ramp is super, super high all at one time within a short amount of RPM, you're going to want a clutch that's not going to slip on you. But what we've got here is a diaphragm clutch, kind of blended with pro stock technology. So this allows you to get street type engagement, but yet when you've really got the clutch engaged, centrifugal motion is going to lock these little tabs here on the outside of the clutch and that's going to really really make sure that it doesn't let up or slip at all for you. So what's the uh, torque capacity on this clutch? Uh, I think it's around 13 or 1400 pound foot of torque and we've got them available in single disc, dual disc, triple disc obviously for higher torque loads um, and they're they're pretty much bulletproof. They're also uh, race ready out of the box. There's no break-in period whatsoever. You install it and you go. And you, uh, the quick time um, swap belt housings are under you too now, right? Yes, yes. Uh, through our acquisition last year of MSD and Excel and Mr. Gasket, quick time falls under us now. So um, SFI approved uh, scatter shields, bell housings, all the good stuff to make sure that you don't end up having an accident with some of the most dangerous components you have spinning around in your drivetrain. Right, and these guys make bell housings for a lot of popular swaps with a whole bunch of different one, trannies. They can make one for anything. If we don't make it, we can, as long as you can get us the pattern on the back of the block and, uh, and on the transmission, we can build you a bell housing. All right, Blaine, thank you for your time, and that was really interesting. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys coming by.